Welcome. In this video, we're going to add text to our layers. Now, the way we're going to do this is by adjusting uh, some fonts and choosing the right layer uh, to put it on. So, let's start by going and finding our type tool. Okay, it's down here near the bottom, bottom middle. And when you click on it, sometimes it takes a minute before it starts working. That's because it's going to load in all your fonts, which may be a lot. My default is Myriad Pro, and you'll see some of the same types of features you see on other uh, word processing programs. And in our case, we're going to switch to something that is more of a script. Let's see. There's Palace Script. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to just type something out. I'm going to change my font size. So I tapped once, so it's ready for me to type, but my font's really small, so let's bring it up bigger. 72 isn't big enough. Let's just make it bigger. I'm going to click on this little T here, notice my finger turns into a double arrow. If I click and drag to the right, it can go up and up and up and up and up. Now that's big. 415 point. All right. So now I'm going to type out um, a word. And in this case, this is just one word that describes this image. Growth. All right. So here I have the word growth. And it's still not big enough. I'm going to hold it down and highlight it with my type tool. And I'm going to make it even bigger. All right. Much better. Okay, and then when I click off of it, you'll see that I have the letters. Now, when you make a type layer, you want to keep it looking like a T as long as possible. And in this case, I need to change the color of this. This layer, I don't want it to be black. I want it to be lighter. So, I'm going to click back on my type tool. And as long as the layer is a T layer, okay, I can highlight it. And I could retype it, make it say a different word. And I can adjust the color. So the color is going to default to black. I'm going to change it to white. So now I have a white letter. Let's see how that works. All right. So this says growth. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the way this looks. And there are some transformations I can do on it. Let's see. Uh, let's do a free transform and you'll see how this looks. So I can hold down shift, make it bigger or smaller. And what it's doing there is it's actually retyping it at a different font size. I'm going to cancel that. One of the things I can't do is go into transform and do the same warps I could do before. If you click on warp this time, you're not presented with the graph like before. Instead, you just have this little menu. You can change the warp to do different things, like an arc or um, see how the different arcs are doing it. Arches, bulging, flag, <laughs> really crazy looking. All right. None of these are really something I like. I, I think it's just a little weird. Um, it, it's okay, but it's just not to the point that I really want it. So what I have to do in this case is there are other ways, but a quick and easy way to do this is as long as you have it big enough. Okay, Start big like this. It's a very big set of letters. What I'm going to do is go ahead and change this to a normal layer, from a type layer to a normal layer. That is a process called rasterization. So we're going to right click on the layer and we're going to tell it to rasterize the type. And what that does is that creates a layer that is just pixels instead of mathematical lines. We'll learn more about that in a later unit. But for the meantime, I'm just going to do it this way. And then what I want to do is just do some transformations. So I'm going to do some warps on it and I'm presented now with that grid I had before and I can make different parts be bigger can make this squeeze down a little bit, squeeze up a little bit, and maybe shift this whole thing down over here so it looks like it's kind of wrapping around. Maybe I want to take it down this way. Yeah, like that. So it's kind of like going around the letters. All right. And there we go. Maybe curl up. I like that growth. All right. And we'll go ahead and click return to complete that transformation. So it's kind of like it's riding along that path, okay? Um, I might need to um, change the way it's blending. So I'm going to change the blend on it to something like overlay. And you see I lost a lot of it there in the middle. So no problem. I'll duplicate the layer. And on this second copy of the word growth, rather than just leaving it in overlay mode, what I'm going to do is put it back in normal. So now it's like, well, what did you do with this one? This one's completely gone. You can't see that anymore anymore. That's okay. What I'm going to do is erase a lot of this original one. So this first one is growth, but it's growth, and we're going to call that overlay, right? 
So that's the overlay one. And then this one here is the growth normal on top. So it's in normal mode. What I'm going to do is just mask off some of this. So I'm going to add a mask and I'm going to go into a black brush and I'm going to basically erase a bunch of it. So you see how I'm erasing on here. And so, so the words will still come out, but I'm erasing some where I don't need it to be so bright. So just a little bit up oh, too much in the middle there. Let's make it white again to bring it back out. So it's somewhere in between. All right. So here's what I want you to do. Yours is going to have maybe the same word or a different word. Um, it's up to you. If you get in here and you realize, hey, these aren't exactly how I want. Like maybe I, I didn't make enough turn here. No problem. Hold down Control or Shift and click. Uh, the other one so they're both selected and then you can remember you can control T and ma actually edit both at the same time so I can rotate that right back into position and click return so now that's all how I want it to be and uh, that's basically what you want to do it, have some type of a word that that makes all of it connect so now that we have this great picture uh, see if you can make something uh, equally good in your collage and that's it for the collage project.